Welcome again. Right now we're in the book of Galatians, chapter 1. Paul gives his credentials to the believers in Galatia. Paul writes, Paul, an apostle, not from men, nor through man, but through Jesus Christ and God the Father who raised him from the dead, and all the brothers who are with me to the assemblies of Galatia. Grace to you and peace from God the Father and our Lord Jesus Christ, who gave himself for our sins that, there's a key word there, that he might deliver us out of this present evil age according to the will of our God and Father, to whom be the glory forever and ever. Amen. Notice Paul here didn't mince words when it came to the purpose of Jesus coming, to deliver us out of this evil age. He didn't make it sound all nice and pretty. He said what it really is, evil, and he calls people out of evil. I marvel that you are so quickly deserting him who called you in the grace of Christ to a different good news or gospel. But there isn't another good news. Only there are some who trouble you and want to pervert the good news of Christ, Messiah. The word Christ here means Messiah. But even though we or an angel from heaven should preach to you any good news other than that which we preach to you, let him be cursed. As we have said before, so I now say again, if any man preaches to you any good news other than that which you received, let him be cursed. For am I now seeking the favor of men or of God? Or am I striving to please men? For if I were still pleasing men, I wouldn't be a servant of Christ. Paul is very concerned here that the believers in Galatia are following a, another gospel, another good news. They're, they are turning aside to something that's strange, to something that's false. And he gave us a hint into what that might be. He encourages them not to seek the favor of men, but of God. We could take this as a clue that this false gospel is a gospel that is favorable to men but not to God. Something that men, worldly men, might just receive very, very gladly, but it is against God. And that should tell you that it is a gospel that is accepting or friendly of sin. Verse 11, But I make known to you, brothers, concerning the good news, which was preached by me, that it is not according to man. For I didn't receive it from man, nor was I taught it, but it came to me through revelation of Jesus Christ, or Messiah. What is revelation of Jesus? What is revelation of Jesus, the Messiah? The word revelation simply means to be revealed. Now, Jesus is hidden to a lot of people. He is not revealed. His true nature, his true character, who he really is, is hidden to a lot of people. A lot of people don't really see Jesus for who he really is. But Paul said here it was by revelation, implying that it was a spiritual revelation, a spiritual revealing to him of who Jesus really is. It is very important to have a revelation, a personal revelation of Jesus. When Jesus comes with all of his power and his glory and reveals himself to you for who he really is. For you have heard of my way of living in time past in the Jews' religion, that is in Judaism, how that beyond measure I persecuted the assembly or the church of God and ravaged it. I advanced in the Jews' religion in Judaism beyond many of my own age among my countrymen, being more exceedingly zealous for the traditions of my fathers. But when it was the good pleasure of God who separated me from my mother's womb and called me through his grace to reveal his son in me that I might preach him among the Gentiles, I didn't immediately confer with flesh and blood, 
nor did I go up to Jerusalem to those who were apostles before me. But I went away into Arabia. Then I returned to Damascus. Notice here Paul makes it very clear that the grace that he's talking about is the grace that calls him from his mother's womb. And this is what he means by, he said, it's not by works, it's by the grace of God. The grace of God that calls him from his mother's womb. For more information on that, listen to my teaching on Romans chapter 9. Then, after three years, I went up to Jerusalem to visit Peter and stayed with him fifteen days. But of the other apostles, I saw no one except James, the Lord's brother. Now about the things which I write to you, behold, before God, I am not lying. Then I came to the regions of Syria and Cilicia. I was still unknown by face to the assemblies, this word here, assemblies, ecclesia, also means churches, of Judea, which were in Christ, in Messiah. But they only heard, quote, He who once persecuted us now preaches the faith that he once tried to destroy, unquote. So they glorified God in me. This is awesome. As we read through the book of Galatians, you are going to receive revelation. Talk about revelation. You are going to receive revelation and insight that you never received before. Seek him while he may be found. And if you seek him with all your heart, you will find him. Call upon him and he will show you great and mighty things. Love you guys.